Hi friends, in my previous tutorial, we have seen the gate level modeling of this decoder. Now we will be seeing the text fields of this decoder. So just I am selecting the variable of text picture from this. After selecting the variable of text picture, we will be selecting, we will be writing the name of the variable of text picture since we have given as a decoder. So we will be writing same thing with underscore tv extension decoder twist for decoder. Now we will be selecting for which test bench we have to write. I have, to, I have selected here a twist for decoder. I have to write the test bench. So it will be creating the test bench. So initially it will be all zeros. Okay. But <clears throat> my input is 2 bits, so it is 2 dp, 0, 0, Penable is 0, and let us give it 1, nothing happens. It becomes simple for me. We need not to write one degree one, it will automatically understand that it is one degree. So one bit, it is automatically, it will understand that it is a one bit. So here we go the decoder, here we simulate it. So we get directly the output. So enable if it enable is equals to zero, then we get all zeros. If enable not equals to zero, then we get the correct value. Let us see, let us check if we are getting the correct values or not. So simulation is completed successfully. Now it is going to launch. So we have got it here. Just I am zooming out it. Yes, here we go. So enable is equal to zero. We got all zeros. Then we got zero zero one one. one. Yes, you can able to see here. You can able to see this. Okay, these are the values which are presented. You can cross verify these two values. You can cross verify the truth table and the output which we got enabled. Okay, thank you for watching this test bench. In my next video. We will be discussing about same program decoder but using if and else block. Thank you.